now what I will do is I will place a camera here and then I'm going to render this image inside lobby so I will go to this click on camera I'm going to place my camera here and just like this drag it all the way I'm going to adjust it just like this and after that I will set this to fine I will set the visual style to realistic so this is what we are getting as of now and I'm, I'm just simply going to adjust it now I will turn on the shadow I will turn on the sense setting and in session I will go to still in session I will choose the time let's suppose 101 winter solid stick hit apply on ok this is what we are getting as of now and before I move ahead to render what I would like to do is I would like to change uh, the image in the background so for that I will go to view and click on this render so this is the box so uh, setting will be draft no problem with that resolution is screen so here I will set this scheme uh, scheme to exterior sunlight and artificial so you, the sense setting is winter solicited artificial lights background so you can see the style in the background the style is a few clouds so I'll just simply go and make this one image I will choose the image we'll click here so box will appear so I have already provided that image or you can download that from the internet so I will go to image click on this and then you just simply need to navigate to where you have downloaded that landscape simply click here click on open and from here you can just scale it down and I will just simply click on OK and you won't be able to see that uh, until and unless you just simply go and render it so I, I'm gonna render this So you see that uh, we have some sort of uh, issue in the lightning so again we can go to sun setting Also if you want to ad adjust the exposure you can adjust the exposure from here as well You can make it brighter just like this you see this one is looking brighter and you can click on ok so if you want to save this again you can go to save to project you can name this one and then hit on ok so there we have view 2 or you can rename this one from here as well and then after opening this you can just simply go and click on rename so this is our view 1 and then click on the empty spaces to make the changes